low back pain is probably the number one reason people try yoga. At least that's what I've seen in my experience. They've heard that it's helpful, that it can alleviate some of that pain and discomfort. So today I'm gonna to guide you through a short chair yoga practice with some movements and stretches that will hopefully alleviate some of that low back pain and discomfort. My name is Mary and I'm a yoga instructor and personal trainer. And today all we're gonna need is a chair, preferably one without arms and maybe one yoga block. So let's get started. We're gonna sit in our chair with our feet grounded into the floor. So if that means scooching up a little bit in your chair so that your feet meet the floor, Otherwise, you can place yoga blocks or a rolled up blanket underneath your feet. We're gonna sit up nice and tall here, relaxing the shoulders and just allowing your hands and arms to relax in your lap. Checking in with the jaw here, make sure you're not clenching your jaw, just allowing everything to relax. And then on your next inhale, let's take a deep breath in, reaching those arms up high. And then exhale, bringing the right arm down. And you can hold on to the edge of your chair seat here and side bend to the right. Take a breath here. And then inhale, bring both hands back up to the center, reaching those fingers to the sky. And then exhale, left hand comes down. You can grab onto that chair seat again and side bend to the left. Taking another breath here. And then inhale, bringing both hands up high. And then exhale, bringing your arms down at your side. Now let's take our left hand to our right knee and gently twist to the right side. The right hand can rest on the back of the chair. Sitting nice and tall, just looking over that right shoulder. You can hold this here for a breath or two. and then slowly unwind back to the center. Now let's do the opposite side. Right hand comes to left knee. Left hand can rest on the back of the chair. Relaxing the shoulders, twisting and looking over that left shoulder. Good, we'll slowly unwind back to the center and then just rest your hands in your lap and we'll do some seated cat cows. So on our inhale, we're pushing our belly out, we're lifting our chest and looking up at the ceiling. And on the exhale, we're rounding the back, bringing the chin down to the chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, pushing the belly out, lifting the heart, looking up. And then exhale, rounding the back, chin to the chest. Let's do that a few more times here, just moving the spine with your breath and feel free to go at your own pace here. Let's do two more. Two more cat cows, two more full breath cycles. And then we'll come back to the center here. All right, so we're gonna extend our right leg out. We're gonna rest our heel on the floor. We're gonna flex the foot and point those toes toward back toward your shin. Keeping that leg straight, maybe a slight bend in the knee here. We're gonna take a deep breath in, and then on the exhale, we're going to hinge at the hips and fold over that right leg. Now keeping that back nice and neutral, we're not rounding over, we're just hinging at the hips and just folding forward as far as is comfortable to you. All right, on your next inhale, let's slowly come back up. We'll bring that right foot in and we'll do the same thing on the left side. Extend that left leg out long, heel to the floor, pointing those toes back toward the shin. Take a deep breath in, we're lengthening the spine, and on the exhale, folding over that left leg. Again, just hinging at the hips, keeping a neutral spine here. Maybe bending the knee a little bit, if that's more comfortable, getting that stretch in the left hamstring. Good, on your next inhale, we'll come back up to the center. We'll bring that left foot in. 
Now we'll cross our right ankle over our left knee. We're flexing the right foot. You can stay right here if you'd like, or an option is to hinge at the hips. Again, keeping the back nice and neutral. We're not rounding over the leg. Take one more breath here. And then on your next inhale, we'll come back up to the center and we'll switch sides. Crossing the left ankle over the right knee, flexing our left foot. Again, you have the option just to stay right here or you can add on that forward fold. Again, just hinging right at the hips, keeping the back neutral. Taking a few breaths here. And then on your next inhale, we'll come back up to the center. Bring that left foot down to the floor. From here, we'll take a step out wide. So stepping your feet out wide, keeping the feet pointed out about 45 degrees. If you'd like, you can grab your yoga block Place it in between your feet. Take a deep breath in here, lengthening the spine. On the exhale, we're gonna fold forward here. So hinging at the hips, you can rest your hands on your thighs if that's more comfortable. Or you can bring your hands down to a block or all the way down to the floor. So whatever option works best for you, Taking a few breaths here. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna bring our hands to our thighs and slowly come back up to the center. And then step your feet together. So those were my favorite yoga poses and stretches to help alleviate low back pain. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button or leave me a comment below. If you hit subscribe, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video.